Welcome to the Mac Vitalik Podcast, where we respect fashion's past, analyze fashion's present, and get excited about fashion's future. I'm Liberty Impop, founder and creative principal of fashion media company Manic Vitalik. Several times per week, I'll bring you episodes about exciting things happening in fashion, discussion about current issues facing the industry, and the places and people that have made the fashion industry great. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on Instagram at the Medical Talent Podcast and at Medical Talent, both linked in our show notes. Now, let's get into today's episode. Welcome back to the Medical Talent Podcast. I'm Liberty, your host. For our first Who Is episode of this season, we're going to look at the life and career of Jonathan Newhouse. If you have listened to season one of our podcast, and if you haven't, you should, and are familiar with what the Who Is series is, you might ask why we're doing someone as well known as Jonathan. Why does someone that has the fashion industry recognition that he does need to be discussed within the context of what this series, which shines the light on those in fashion that don't already get the credit that they deserve for building the industry into what it is today, is about? Well, Jonathan Newhouse actually fits perfectly into what we see as a who was subject. Newhouse, the former CEO of Condé Nast International and the current chairman of the board of directors for Condé Nast, is someone that I feel that we only understand on a surface level basis. And those are the types of figures that we like to take a look at in this particular series. Jonathan is seemingly a private individual. One of those types that lets you know exactly what he wants you to know about him. And not an ounce more. True to form, there wasn't as much information to be found on his life story as I would have liked when I was completing my research for this episode. But I did my best. It was well worth the effort because after all, to know the story of Jonathan Newhouse is to know the story of present day Con and Us. And by extension... It is to understand the condition of present-day print media. I think you'll like what I've got in store. Jonathan Newhouse, cousin of the story Cy Newhouse, was born in New York in 1953 and was raised in the city. He attended Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut from 1970 to 1972 before leaving to join the media profession. He started off working at Advanced Publications, who owns Condé Nast, as a newspaper reporter and editor before moving over to magazines in 1980. While working his way up the Condé Nast ladder, he had management roles at both Details Magazine and at The New Yorker. The 80s were the same decade that he met his wife, Ronnie Cook Newhouse, who was a fashion editor at Details at the time, and currently runs the luxury advertising agency House & Home. They married in 1995. Towards the end of the 1980s, Newhouse moved to Paris to begin working on expanding Condé Nast internationally. In 1990, he became the Condé Nast International CEO and Chairman. Under Jonathan's leadership, Condé Nast International expanded to include over 30 markets, over 100 websites, and over 120 magazines. Newhouse's Condé Nast International brought Vogue to various markets such as Ukraine, the Middle East, India, and Mexico. He also oversaw Condé's move into other non-media related pursuits like restaurants and an education institution, the Condé Nast College of Fashion and Design, which is located in London. In 2018, Condé Nast made the decision to merge its international wing with its United States wing. This led to a shakeup that reverberated across the entire company. Chanta Newhouse stepped down from his positions at Condé Nast International due to the merger and became the chairman of the board of directors of the newly combined Condé Nast. Newhouse currently lives in London, where he's lived since 1994. He holds dual citizenship between the United States and the United Kingdom. I want to take a quick moment to tell you about Manic Metallic's recent product. Do you like fashion? Does it matter to you beyond just entertainment value? Well, Manic Metallic is a fashion media company that creates audio, written, and video content that supports our ethos that fashion is an art, discipline, and societal force for change. 
We recently published a fashion ebook titled Alternative Fashion Capitals, a survey of 20 cities of emerging thought leadership. In it, we detail 20 cities beyond just New York, Milan, London, and Paris that have thriving fashion scenes, and we dive deep into what they have to offer, including shopping districts, specific places to shop, brands, events, fashion organizations, fashion publications, and universities and colleges. These 20 cities have a lot to offer the world with regards to the fashion industry, and Manic Metallic is determined to share their stories. We'd love for you to consider purchasing this fashion ebook and for you to join our growing community via our website, social media, newsletter, and podcast. For more information on the ebook and where it can be purchased, please visit manicmetallic.com forward slash products. We look forward to hearing from you. Now, back to the podcast. Here are a few things that I learned about Jonathan over the course of my research. One, he is the chair of the board of Girl Effect, an international nonprofit founded by the Nike Foundation in 2004 that builds media to build up girls in a positive way. The foundation, now independent, reaches millions of girls across 20 Asian and African countries. It actually seems like a really cool organization that has a very worthy goal. I included a couple of links in the show notes from Girl Effects website that talks about Jonathan's involvement with the nonprofit. You can use those to find out more about Girl Effect overall. I know that it might seem that there's a disconnect between being in the leadership of a company that has arguably had an influential hand in warping women's views of themselves, both for those that work for the company and those that read its publications. I'm speaking about Condé Nast here. And then joining the board of an organization with such noble goals as Girl Effect. Now, I can't argue with Girl Effect's mission. I just wish that Condé was better at empowering all women. Second thing I learned about Jonathan is that he apparently helped to revive John Galliano's career after the designer went on a now infamous horribly anti-Semitic rant at a Paris bistro in 2011 and was swiftly fired from his position as Dior's creative director. This comes as a big surprise, as Newhouse himself is Jewish. I have included a couple of articles that touch on Newhouse's assisting Galliano, but I'll include a couple of quotes so that you can get an idea of where he stood on the issue. When asked in British Vogue in June 2013 what he'd like to see Galliano do next, he said the following, quote unquote, He is an enormous talent who lives to create, and the best thing would be for him to start making fashion again. I would love to see him come back. Here's a quote from an interview that Jonathan did with Israeli newspaper Haaretz in July 2017. Quote unquote, I've known him for a long time and the Galliano that I know is not a racist or an anti-Semite. If we could all be so lucky to have someone there to pick us up when we fail miserably. Whatever your thoughts about whether or not Newhouse should have helped Galliano, this was a kind act by Newhouse who basically used his influence to help John Galliano get appointed to Maison Martin Margiela the following year in 2014. And it was an act that Galliano will never be able to repay. The third thing that I learned is that Jonathan is apparently an adherent of stoicism. This doesn't necessarily seem like something that one would expect from a powerful fashion executive, but entrepreneurs from other industries regularly extol the virtues of this philosophy. For reference, Stoicism, in a nutshell, is a philosophy where you recognize the things that you can change while accepting those that you cannot. Mastering the self is a big part of the values of a Stoic. I've included an interview that Newhouse did about Stoicism and how it fits into his life as a show notes link. And that's going to be it for this episode. I'm really excited to have made it through this first week of recording the Manic Metallic podcast. And I'm very much looking forward to keeping these episodes coming. We just might fit in a couple of podcast interviews this season also, so keep tuning in. See you next episode. Thanks for listening. If you got value out of today's episode, it'd mean a lot to me if you rate, review, and subscribe to the Manic Metallic Podcast. Be sure to tell all of your fashion inclined friends and coworkers about the podcast as well. This will really help us to spread our message about fashion being an art, discipline, and force for societal change. And don't forget to stay in touch with us by subscribing to the Manic Metallic newsletter and following us on Instagram. Feel free to reach out to us through either of those means. I'd love to hear from you. 
I'll link these all in the show notes. You're the best. See you next episode.